Good morning, YouTube. This is Chuck Gentles again, inside, in the shop. Uh, it's still pretty cold in the mornings. It's about 34 in the morning, so not real cold, but on a side-by-side -side going into the forest, it's cold. So we're back in here again, and I'm going to try to finish up something that I did uh, a couple videos back. I don't remember when now, but we coupled uh, some gold. And uh, we used lead, and if you look right here, these two pieces still have a lot of lead in them. And what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to use hip fire to take care of that. We're going to try to coupel that off, and here's the uh, uh, bone ash coupel. And I'm using this uh, borax this time. This is uh, borax glass that I've had for a while, but it works really good, or it has in the past anyhow. So we'll just put these little guys in here in the borax. Sorry, I didn't show you that, did I? <laughs> put them right in there, and we'll put more borax on it, or maybe add a little bit later. But we're not going to use a hand torch or... or uh, map gas like we did before we're going to use something else and let me show you what that so this is it this is a forge that i've made many knives in i made it here in the shop it's made out of fire brick and angle iron you can see this uh, angle iron frame here this is all fire brick top bottom sides uh there's a block off block in the back and uh so anyhow we're going to use this and we're going to run propane we got the propane bottle here already lashed up, and it's got the double regulator on it. Got a regulator, then a fine adjust here, gauge to see where we're at. So I'm thinking this will get it hot enough to get that lead out of that piece of gold, pieces of gold, I guess it is. <coughs> so we'll get it uh, in here, maybe get fired off here first and see how that goes. Because this hasn't run in probably two years. But it'll, it'll work. I am, I'm confident. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. We're going to give this a go. So let me get on the back side here and get some propane. Just got a little bit going. That was good. Just fired right off. Give me a little bit more. All right, that's about 10 PSI. Hey, we're going to let that run there for a minute, and I'll be back. Guys, I'm going to put a respirator on, so I don't know how good you're going to hear me, but i got to have this. Okay, bam. I got some gloves on because that is really hot. It's starting to melt.
Okay, we're going to shut her down, try to get a little bit more borax in it. Let that crystallize for a little bit. Push it back just a touch farther. This uh, coupel is cherry red on the back side, so I'm going to slide it back a little bit. And we're going to go again. back. Alright guys, we're about 17 PSI on the bottle and we look to be having a little bit of a puddle there. It's really hard to tell. I know I can I can just about melt steel in this out and this forge. Okay. There's some of the lead. That's why I have a respirator on, is that lid. I want to get that lid off of there. Hopefully come up with pure gold. Alright, be back. Alright guys, <coughs> that crucible looks plenty hot. I might try a little bit more uh, borax. I don't care not right here. Sorry about that, I left that on, didn't mean to. You can see that lid flowing off now. I, they didn't get closer. That's uh, pretty hard to see. Alright, we're going to pull it. Alright guys, we're going to try to pour pour that out from under all this trash that's in it. Now this is molten. This ain't going to be easy, is it? Oh, that looks good. So that's what's left in here. And that should be pure gold. Can't show you. Hang on. I think I can get the camera closer. It was so that should be pretty dang pure gold right here.
I wouldn't want to touch it. Maybe we'll uh, we'll clean that up a little bit, and uh, after we clean it, maybe we'll strike it on some uh, a graphite plate. We'll strike it and see how it tests out. So anyhow, that's how it's done using a forge instead of a foundry or a or a bottle. You know what? I could make it a lot better if I take this thing off. I mean, who knows what's coming off of that in gas? I mean, it, lead doesn't put off a good gas. But, all right, guys. We'll see how hot we got here, or how hot it is now. It's been out for a while. That's, that's only 98 degrees. That's all over, isn't it? <sighs> Fahrenheit. Oh, it's laying on that steel. So let's try to pick this thing up somehow. There we go. We'll put it over here on this table. Doesn't feel real hot. And uh, yeah, it feels hot. <laughs> Be back. All right, guys. So uh, just cleaned her up. And it is. It's about 92 degrees. The uh, Coupel is still 530 degrees, and that's Fahrenheit. So, we, and you can see, let me pull this out of the way. You can see it got hot enough that it cracked. You can see the cracks here, but you can also see all this garbage here on top. And that's part of the lead and the rest of the lead's in that. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to strike this graphite plate. Let's see, I think we're going to do that, aren't we? Right there. Now I thought I had 10K and I don't see the 10K. I got a 14K. We'll try 14, see if we can get there. That's really hot. I'm going to Move it farther away. We'll take this. Wow, table's hot. And see, this is acid. And if that goes all the way through, that means it's less than 14. And it's not. So it's staying right there at 14K. So it's 14 karat gold. That's amazing. Okay, put some neutralizer on that. There we go. And we'll wipe that and get it out of the way. And that's it. So that's how it's done. It was incredibly fast with the, the forge versus the foundry or the, or the propane bottles or map gas. Really fast. And now this is neutralizing here. That acid neutralizer. So it's not going to show anymore that it's good. But I know it has a silvery tinge to it with these lights in here. These are cool white lights. In the shop, but there you go. I didn't weigh it. Maybe we ought to do that, huh? Be back. Okay, I may have to zoom in a little bit closer, but uh, I'm set on ounces. Let's see what she weighs. And that says 1.8 ounces. That's a really accurate scale, by the way. All right, I'm happy with that. I think I'll keep it. Thank you so much for watching. This one was probably a little different for you than normal, but uh, it goes hand in hand with gold and melting gold and cleaning gold and all of that. And I, I promise we're going to go out and prospect. <laughs> Maybe next week we're going to get it done. I don't think it's going to happen this week yet. But anyhow, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, come back again. Give it a great comment. 
You all stay blessed and safe while you're out there prospecting. We'll be out there. Thanks for watching.